I'm on a no heat call at this apartment unit and these pipes are pretty cold. The tenants at the boiler wasn't running all morning. I'm turning the boiler back on and the board's saying everything's okay. Just want to make sure the transformers working and I get 24 volts so that's fine. I've got the thermostat disconnected and I'm jumping out the R and W and the boiler is not responding. So the TT code on a crown boiler indicates if there's a call for heat and when I jump these out the board's not receiving that call. So it says TT off. The R and the W are still jumped out and I'm just going to give a tap on the relays to see if they're stuck or something. and the board still not getting a call for heat. I usually have these on hand for about $200 a board, but I was all out. So I had to go to my supply house, which they happily charged me $380. And I had to wait about four hours for them to get one in stock. After you get all the wire harnesses unplugged, there's two tabs on the bottom you push up and then you can pull out the whole board. To put the new one on, there's two tabs you hook up top and then you could drop the board back down. Alright, everything's hooked back up. I had the tenants um, turn up the heat. I'm turning the boiler back on. It's running through its self tests. And for TT, it's, yeah, it's getting a call for heat now. So you could hear the circulator starting. So that's a good sign. The damper vent should open next. All right, there it goes. So it should be opening now. So that's good. We should get a spark. gas valve is opening and we have ignition so we got it running again so it looks like the board was the problem I stuck around to let the boiler do a whole cycle and it started up beautifully I was just a little upset that I wasn't prepared by having one of these boards on hand. So what should have took 30 minutes and $200 to be done with this? I wasted a lot of time driving around town, waiting and paying double um, for the board to get this uh, taken care of. So I'll throw an Amazon purchase link in the video description so you could get one and be prepared in case something like this happens. 
I hope this video helped someone out there. Thanks for watching.